Uh, good afternoon. Coming to you live from NASDAQ's global headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Welcome to the Tuesday, November 7th edition of Advisory Live. We're powered by NASDAQ IR Insight, and I'm your host, Will Briganti. And joining me as my guest today is Tamar Esner, Senior Director for Energy and Utilities at NASDAQ Advisory Services. Tamar, thank you so much for being back here. Thanks for having me. Great to have you back on the program. All right, so a lot happening in the energy world. Uh, we'll drill down to three topics. Uh, let's start with some of the headlines that came out of Saudi Arabia this weekend. Crown Prince there enacted an anti-corruption crackdown over the weekend. How has, the, how has that news impacted the oil price so far? First two trading sessions of the, of the week. It's uh, unleashed the animal spirit, so we're in a very much bullish market. Yeah. Oil prices are at two and a half year highs from the political uncertainty. I think the big question for investors is how do we view this? Yeah. Is this a consolidation of power? and? Mohammed bin Salman is trying to eliminate his dissenters, mm -hmm. or is it really about leveling the playing field and a real anti-corruption um, elimination? Sure. So um, if, it's, if it's the former consolidation of power, I think it harms investor confidence because mm -hmm. it just solidifies the perception of Saudi as an autocratic state that could yep. seize assets. Um, not a very comfortable place from a corporate governance perspective, but if it's about really leveling the playing field, saying that nobody is mm -hmm. above the law, even royal, right. royal family yeah. members, um, you know, then that could be uh, attractive for foreign investors. So right now there are a lot of questions right now. Okay. Uh, let's uh, keep on this sort of similar topic, uh, but obviously OPEC will be in focus this month. They're going to be meeting at the end of the month. Uh, tell us, or have any of the news kind of coming out over the last couple of days the increase in sort of oil price, how, how has that impacted the OPEC members? Sure, well, actually it's very much related to the, yeah. to the prior topic because concurrent with the power grab in, in yes. Saudi Arabia, um, Saudi has actually been upping the ante regarding their bellicose rhetoric against Iran. Uh, Iran launched some, uh, well, Yemen launched some, some missiles. Yemen's backed yes. by, by Iran. So right. uh, it could make it a little bit more difficult at the end of the month for Saudi to uh, agree to production cuts given the increased rivalry mm -hmm. with Iran. That being said, a lot of people say that this uh, consolidation of power in Saudi Arabia has only further solidified uh, MBS's drive, the Crown Prince's drive, yeah. to go forward with the IPO. And okay. if that's the case, the IPO of uh, Aramco, Aramco. Um, yeah. they would very much need a higher oil price and, right. and support the extension of, of production cuts. So for now, the market's taking uh, a very bullish view, but it could be a situation of buy the rumor and sell the news, mm -hmm. where a lot of this is getting priced in ahead of the OPEC meeting, and then yeah. if, if OPEC doesn't deliver, or even if they only moderately deliver on some of this, it could be a, a, a bearish headline. Okay. Uh, and switching gears across the Atlantic uh, to Venezuela, uh, what's happening there with the economic situation, sort of how it fits into this overall energy industry puzzle? Well, Venezuela is uh, potentially on the brink of default. Right. S&P downgraded them the other day. There's about $60 billion in uh, traded bonds, and the, the total public sector debt is closer to, to uh, $300 billion. So okay. it's, it's very big. Um, to put it in context, there's a quote from some professors at Duke Law School yeah. that did a paper on what it would take to restructure Venezuela's okay. debt. And for the history buffs out yeah. there, they said that um, Napoleon's invasion of Russia in 1812 was a complicated undertaking. Yeah. Uh, restructuring, restructuring for Venezuela would be a very complicated <laughs> undertaking. So, That's great. Yeah, more questions than answers. Yeah. I think that the markets will stay in limbo for okay. a very long time sure. because of the sanctions from the U.S against Venezuela. Venezuelan debt is denominated in mm -hmm. U.S. dollars. Um, it is um, governed by U.S., by New York law. Mm -hmm. um, so restructuring will be very hard because of those sanctions. Okay. So it's not really clear on, on what will happen. I'll, I'll just note quickly, yeah. Venezuela has defaulted and restructured many times uh, against its own people, against right. Russia, against China, but never actually against Wall Street. Right. So for now, they're continuing to service those payments, but obviously, um, it's very flimsy as to whether or not they will be uh, able to continue to do so. They have the largest crude oil reserves in the world, but their volumes that they're producing have been coming down because okay. they can't really service those sure. fields. Um, so a lot of, of questions. They're obviously helped, though, by the fact that oil prices are sitting at two and a half year highs. That makes right. it a little bit better for them, yeah. um, but they're still very much hurting. All right. Well, Tamara Esner, we'll leave it there for today's program. Thank you. Thank you so much for that terrific insight, and we'll look to have you back. Uh, toward the end of the month uh, around the OPEC meeting. Look forward to it. <laughs> and just a programming note, uh, Tamar Esner will be a guest on Bloomberg Television 
uh, on November 30th to discuss that very OPEC meeting. So be sure to tune in to Bloomberg Television and Radio uh, in the afternoon that day. Tamar, thank you once again for being our guest today. Thanks for having me. And that's the latest uh, from NASDAQ Advisory Live for November 7th. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to keep uh, comments coming uh, right here on Twitter, on Periscope. Uh, we'd love to have your feedback. And for more information about NASDAQ's energy solutions services, be sure to visit our corporate website. That's at business.nasdaq.com. I want to thank Tamara Snow one more time uh, for being our guest on today's program. We look forward to seeing you back here on Thursday. Thanks. Have a great day.